decided just let This is my go. student, Jeff, and this is our first meeting. Uh, he's asked me to help him with his serve, and he is a beginner student, so let me walk you through the steps of what I like to do. This is the assessment of his serve, and then after watching this, I understand what I'm going to prepare him for. Again, this is only part one in the beginning of his service lesson. We're going to look at his throwing assessment here and the mechanics for throwing. And all I'm doing here is just allowing him to throw whichever is comfortable. It's very similar to how he was serving. And at this point, I'm defining the technique. I want him to point in the direction he's going to be throwing, bring the arm up with the ball near his ear. And that's important. It has to start there in that position before it drifts back behind my head. And then as I turn in, he's going to do the same and throw the ball out. So here we're looking at this beginning position. Left arm is out, ball in hand, and we're bringing the ball up to my ear and Jeff's here, he's got it there, and then turning into it with that elbow going forward before snapping through with a little wrist snap and sending the ball forward. So now we're gonna look at how that combines with the service motion. So rather than the ball being by my ear or by your eye, whichever position, a long backswing or a short backswing, I'm going to bring the racket near my ear. Now let's look at the long backswing preparation. So long backswing preparation, the racket goes down as a long path. Here we're just doing it with the ball in a throwing motion, but I'm ending at my ear. Here's the short backswing path. This is what we're going to be working on in his first steps of progression of his serve. But the racket is just going immediately up next to his ear. Or you could say your eye. It's kind of forward. You should be able to see it in this position. So we're just raising the racket up and putting the left arm out as the racket comes up. At this point, we're going to start from the racket at the ear or the eye, and then we're using our wrist. The wrist at this point brings the racket back behind the head. And this is just another practice point. So we get the racket up near the side of your head by your ear, your eye, and then just using the wrist, we're going to allow the racket to drift back behind the head. The back swing should connect to the forward swing. That wrist snap behind the head connects. There's no delay. Once you're in that preparation and the racket is up near your ear, near your eye, when you're ready to swing, the back swing is connected to the forward swing. There's no delay there. Now, Jeff wants to learn how to use a continental grip for his serve, so I'm adding a uh, this little grip aid, it attaches onto his racket and allows his index finger to go over and it keeps him in that continental grip. And what I'm demonstrating here is he's bringing the racket up. We need the racket to be more or less level, parallel to the ground in that beginning phase. And then as he's going into the swing, the continental grip is where you really get the pronation. Now, the pronation isn't necessarily so much your focus as it is the completion of the swing. Keep that in mind. But here we are working on our swing. We're bringing the racket up to our ear. We're gonna use that little wrist flick in the back, let the wrist bring the racket back. And then as we go forward, there's our ball strike and finish raising the racket up level, parallel to the ground, wrist snapping through. 
All right, our next step is to get over to the fence and work on our toss. If we don't have a good toss and we're chasing the ball around, we're never going to be able to strike it consistently. The distance of an outstretched arm is perfect against the fence. And you're just tossing it straight up and it should be able to fall straight down into your arm. Now the progression here is to extend your arm and racket, put the racket up into that first position by your eye, by your ear, and then toss. Now, one of the things that I'm doing is looking up at an imaginary area on the fence and I'm looking at that target rather than following the ball up I'm looking for the ball to get to that target so I'm looking up and then I toss where I want to strike the ball or above that point obviously it's got to travel down how high at least one racket head above the point of contact all right, let's look at the next step, which is the toss practice without the fence. We're bringing the racket back to our eye ear, parallel to the ground. Remember, this is just a basic beginning serve motion. Serving, really, there's a lot that we can do in a ball front. Here we go, first contact. Perfect. Look at the rotation, look at how close it was to a normal throw, and this is before and after. 